Yes. Hey, I'm gonna try to make uh, bánh tráng nướng today. So this is one of our favorite snack when we were traveling to Vietnam. You want to zoom in here, uh, Francine? So what I did is I just crack an egg on the bánh tráng. Oh, it's starting to crumble up already. I don't like that, but let me get working here. So the egg is a little bit big. In Vietnam, the egg is really small. So um, the eggs serve as a glue to all the deliciousness that we're about to pile on here. So in Vietnam, I remember the lady, she put pate. This is one of the lady that made it for us in Hoi An uh, when we were at the beach. Do you remember that? I indeed do. Yeah. Emily was just drooling when she was making this. So let's see if we can duplicate. You know, um, in Vietnam, she was making it outside over a grill. And here, we're making indoor, so it may not be the same, but the ingredients are all there. This pan. I'm making a mess, so it's starting to look like more like scrambled eggs. But, um, and then I put in lak uh, which is the Chinese uh, sausage. Ooh. Chinese sausage. Can you give me the roux, Francie? Are you able to grab the roux? Okay. That and try to get that all over the bunting here. Not doing a very good job because it's starting to curl up. And I don't want that to curl up. Eee. Yeah, this is doesn't look like it. Uh, the bunting in Vietnam, huh? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We're doing our best. Let's put the rest of the lapsu in there. Um, hand me the sauce. White sauce, it's mayonnaise. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this all over. Turn up the heat up, and then I want red chili sauce. I like a lot of chili, so I'm going in. Looks pretty messy, but you know what? We'll have to do, and then shallots. And I'm just going to let this firm up, and then I'll flip it over. But, um, yeah, so that's the all the ingredients. But I know that go into the bun tang. It's just it doesn't look. I know it doesn't look like the one in Vietnam. But um, so um, what can you substitute? You don't have the Chinese so uh, sausage. Other meat. Yeah. Um, any type of sausage that you have in your refrigerator is fine. Um, what about the shredded pork? If you don't have that, what can you substitute that for? Other meat. <laughs> Any kind of cold cuts that you have in your refrigerator, like ham, if you want to julienne that or slice it up very um, uh, nicely and thin. Uh, for the veggie, um, vegetarian, I would use like grilled zucchini. Um, what else can we put on here? Uh, a glue that would hold everything together instead of egg, I would use um, cheese, any kind of a soft cheese, I think would work, yeah. That happy cow face cheese, I think that would work as well. So, um, yeah, so it's, it looks like it's turning pretty hard, so I'm going to flip it. It's starting to look like a quesadilla instead of a bunting noon. 
But um, yeah, so this is our Bánh Tráng Nương. Um, we can travel to Vietnam during this time, so the next best thing is try to make some of the delicious snack, tasteful, tasty snack that we experienced when we were in Vietnam. So um, this is one of them, Bánh Tráng Nương. And then that's ready to play up and eat. So we'll see. We're gonna try the bun tang moon. Okay. So I'm just gonna slice this up. Oh, it's still very hot. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Here, Emily, why don't you I'm try? I'm gonna wait for that to cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to see how, how this tastes compared to the one in Vietnam. Hot. You want sriracha? We already mm. put it inside already. Mm. It's very crunchy, just like in Vietnam. It has all the essential ingredients of the roux, the shredded pork, the Chinese uh, sausage. Um, it's very tasty. It's just, it doesn't look and feel like we're in Vietnam. I guess because we're here in Makatil. <laughs> and not in Vietnam. Very nice mother. <laughs> but um, the taste is there, Emily. It's just, sorry, we're not able to travel to Hoi An and experience Vietnam, but, you know, what can we do? Try to make the best of the situation that we're in. So, here you go. Try it, Emily, and let me know. Okay. Let, let me see if Emily will say the same thing. Emily is afraid because it's still hot. It's still very warm. Yes. But you know what? My I'm, I'm a cook, so I can touch hot food without being sensitive. I'm not sensitive to hot food. So. Good for you. Mm.